Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the previous two videos have been really about how can you use AI into trading. So if you have not watched those videos, I've talked about A, how can you use chat GPT to get data from trading view. Just take a snapshot, put it there and analyze it. So that's the first video. I'll put the link somewhere up. The second video I've talked about how can you customize the AI and meet it your requirements. So for instance, you want to behave like a day trader, you want to have it behave like a swing trader or you want some investment advice, you can, you know, obviously use it for that. Now, I did see a lot of questions around it and uh, specifically from the trading community. So this video is actually inverse and I'm going to talk about why you should not be using AI without understanding it. There are perils to using it uh, and uh, there's a likelihood that you will burn your money. So I want to give you some caution, but this caution comes with ways to overcome it. So please listen to the video. You will be able to understand how to use technology to give you benefit. If you have looked in the member community, a lot of people are bullish about the trend and they believe that as AI gets more deeper and democratized, what's likely to happen is that people will be using these technologies and it will be picking up smaller trends and all in an automated fashion. So the amount of manual trading is likely to reduce. And this is not just me saying this is coming from the opinions of the people uh, within the WhatsApp group. So we have a great WhatsApp group. There's good 200 plus people who share their opinions once in a while, contribute, participate, answer questions. So if you want to join that, link is in the description. There's a Telegram channel as well. Link is in the description. No strings attached. There's no money involved. Second key point to be noted, I'm also, if you are somebody who's willing to invest time and learn this the right way, like get to AI by starting the baby steps like learning Python, understanding how to apply it in financial markets. I'm starting an absolutely beginner friendly course. The link of that is also in the description. So let's get this video rolling. So let's let's first talk about what are the specific use cases that we can have in AI. Sorry, that we can have of AI in stock market trading, right? So the first thing is algorithmic trading. The idea is AI driven algorithms executes trades at a really high speed. Now there could be predefined criteria, there could be pattern matching scenarios, there could be, you know, arbitrage opportunities and stuff like that. And the point is AI can continuously churn significantly large amount of data, evaluate par patterns from a market data, macroeconomic data, sentiment data and give you some answers. So you can use it for algorithmic trading, but how and what? is probably a different question or a deeper question. We'll get into some of that in future videos. Then you can do sentiment analysis. It's very, very straightforward. You can churn, use AI to do a lot of news article processing, social media posts, financial reports, etc. And uh, basically an investment firm can employ an AI to analyze all of this, build a, some sort of a sentiment graph as to which company or which sector and how is the direction going to be or at least how's the you know retail investor sentiment around it you can use it for risk management you can assess and predict the risks uh, you can try and understand how your portfolios can be adjusted for example you have certain returns over certain you know combination of tickers within your portfolio and you want to find a way to adjust them you can leverage ai there so the intent of talking about this is to just point out the fact that the only use case is not to just predict the price. That's probably the least uh, recommended thing I'll want to suggest. You can get into fraud detection. Now, this might be not a use case for uh, independent or retail traders, but uh, it could be really, really useful for having a trading behavior understanding from different for different prop firms and stuff like that. Portfolio management, I've already talked about it and uh, predictive analysis is very, very similar. So you can understand and predict price charts. Now, uh, these are the broad use cases. So prediction, obviously, needless to say, portfolio optimization, risk assessment, rebalancing, things like, uh, you know, understanding short swings, which is more analysis and not really prediction, churning a larger volume of data, finding arbitrage patterns, finding seasonality in a certain kind of stock. These are all analysis, not predicting. Predicting would be today the price is X, tomorrow could be X plus something or X minus something. Tell me what that will be. And most people think of it as a, you know, pointed thing. 
Now let's move on to the second part of the video, which is reasons not to use AI. Now I'm referring my notes constantly, so please bear with the fact that I'm looking at the camera and uh, here as well. So the first thing to understand is AI is probabilistic in nature. When it gives you any answers, there is a degree of probability attached to it. Now, when you interact with chat GPT, it's not going to tell you that I am 80% accurate or 90% accurate with this. It's, it'll just give you an answer. Now you will, what you have to understand is it comes with a degree of probability, which is that there is a risk of uncertainty, like every other human action as well. We, anybody who even uses technical indicators, there's likelihood of losing money or once in a while things going wrong, the same is going to happen. But when you do your analysis, over a period of time you understand and build an intuition but with chat gpt you have to do the same thing now with models what happens is models can be overfitted and by overfitting it really means that you have used let's say historical data and model literally memorized the data so it's not generalizing to the future as well which is saying that i have a strategy which is only working for a certain period of time not going to work in future so that's the term that we use overfitting so it's very very common and uh, an overfitted model will perform exceptionally well over historical data but uh, it will perform very very poor in live trading so people who wouldn't know about this they would probably just trust the ai then you'll also have to understand some sort of a market efficiency now the emh suggests that stock prices have discounted all of the available information making it impossible to consistently achieve higher returns however this might or might not be true depending on what kind of take you have on it next point is data quality and availability a lot of times or most of the times models behave based on the data that they have been given the kind of data and input you feed it the standard input would be some kind of a price data and then what people get into is a habit of generating a lot of technical indicators and also feeding it. Now, overfeeding these indicators would just make it not smart, but rather stupid. It will just keep, instead of finding the patterns itself, you are feeding it and forcing it to understand, to look within those set of patterns. So when we build models with AI, that has to be understood and factored in. Black box nature is also very, very important. Now, when you work with traditional machine learning models like random forest regression classifiers you would probably get some sort of an explainability but most modern models large language model deep learning model lstms they are very very difficult to interpret so when you have a simple model and you the ai is giving you a prediction with simpler models you are able to understand the fact that why is it telling you that maybe it's you know prioritizing some indicator or understanding some seasonality you can you can study it basically but with deep learning models or with llms it just goes out of the way so it will be very very difficult for anybody using these techniques to actually understand the rationale now to some extent you can actually ask large language models this question back as to tell me how you're thinking but that goes into a little advanced side of understanding ai as well so if you are not skilled into it then i would suggest not to go in that route and uh, you know uh, a lot of people say that ye miss ho gaya ye uh, trend nahi pakad paya ya ye uptick nahi aaya ai se the, the thing to understand is unforeseen market events or black swans things like pandemics things like geographical crisis cannot be predicted by any model it is at best driven by human intuition and understanding you can build a model and throw it all the data in the world and human sentiment might still act against what it says. So as of today or as of now, human beings are still smarter than AI. Hopefully that continues for long. But you know, the key to understand is AI models will fail to predict or react appropriately to black swan events and it could lead to financial crisis. So if you are, you know, really really gaining dependence around it be prepared for such events and understand that uh, it will work and again a very easy thing to do is if you're getting into a prediction state have the right stop losses it should fix it and finally regulatory and uh, you know ethical concerns so ethical concerns are probably not truly applicable in some of these areas uh, around trading they are but you know, not by far and large in smaller conversations or retail traders but regulatory is very very important now 
if there are a regulatory condition, for example, there's a stock which has been kept on a watch list by SEBI and uh, the model doesn't know that and uh, that's a risk parameter to assess, it will just not factor it in. So when giving it a recommendation, it will not factor it in. So the point that I'm trying to say is that it's essentially the function of data. So to just, just putting this aside now, so now to summarize all of this, right? Do not, if you are in it for short money, don't use it. Use it at best for analysis, but don't use it for asking for a question that today the price was this, today the support level was this, tomorrow the you know RSI is this, tell me the future price. It will still give you an answer, but if you are trusting it, you probably would end up losing money. You might make some money or make a lot of money depending on what kind of market situation you are in and how recently was the model updated and all of that, but it's highly likely that you will lose money. So use it with extreme caution, build a deep understanding of it, which is why I bring in a shameless plug. Please sign up for the course if you are interested and join the community if you have deeper questions around it. All right, bye-bye.